Hello, thank you for watching. My name is Merganator, and I want to talk about the 2013 Formula Ford EcoBoost 200 car. It's a stock league that begins on August 15th. A 772 S class vehicle, mid engine, real, rear wheel drive, uh, the 213 horsepower, 211 pounds of torque, and it only weighs 1,069 pounds, making it super lightweight. So it slides easily if you try to uh, be too aggressive around corners, but once you master it, it is incredibly good around these corners. It's very fast, it feels very fast despite it being only 213 horsepower, but uh, you get a really good sense of its speed if you use the cockpit view. But even if you use, it doesn't matter which view you're using when you drive this, it just feels really fast. Uh, you could race with this car as you wish. I did a lot of testing and TCS doesn't doesn't give you too big of a handicap. It also doesn't ruin the experience in the car. You just have to readjust the way you drive. Um, I was doing really good lap times with the testing with TCS off, and I was doing really good lap times with TCS on. You just have to readjust because it kicks on even as you enter a turn if you t enter in too fast. Uh, manual with clutch isn't a necessity with this car. I noticed very little difference in acceleration. I did a lot of drag racing tests and manual with clutch and just using manual um, was incredibly similar, not compared to last week's Ford Mustang GT League where manual with a clutch was a necessity. Um, this car handles very well in the rain with or without TCS. I felt like I didn't need TCS. Um, traction control isn't a necessity when it comes to launching either it doesn't it doesn't necessarily make your car launch any better um, in dry or wet conditions I say maybe in wet conditions a little bit better but um, yeah so if you want TCS you can have it on it's it's not a necessity if it's not gonna make the experience worse you just have to adjust to the assist that you have on and then you know you can it, it you don't have to change your playing style if you want manual. Hell, I didn't t test it with automatic, but I'm sure this car is fine in automatic too. Uh, let's talk about damage really quick. This is an open-wheeled car. The car itself is actually pretty resilient. I purposely was running into walls to see how easily I would hurt the car. And it's actually pretty resilient. I'd say it took two or three really strong hits to cause some downforce issues and braking issues but beware if the damage does happen this car is very hard to maneuver very hard to drive because it needs that front wing it needs the suspension more than anything to create downforce to make it successful around corners and accelerate and brake worth a damn so there you go i am liking this car so far i am in pinnacle tomorrow and i'm very very nervous so thank you for watching and I'll see you around Forza Rally Championship this week. Take care. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And see you.